Hey folks, this is Virgo Sewing. As I'm making this video for you right now, I'm still wondering how I got so lucky to get this sewing machine that's in front of you. This is a Raymond uh, <laughs> treadle sewing machine from the 1880s. Uh, what makes it so interesting is not that it's from the 1880s, but the model that it is. And I now unveil for you, without further ado, the rare Raymond model number one sewing machine. Here she is in her full glory. Just look at that. I'll come in closer to give you guys a look. Look at these decals. Look at the shape of the base. Just absolutely gorgeous. Comes in its nice table, the original treadle, Charles Raymond. Beautiful. You saw the coffin top. It's got a little drawer in here. Oh, a little spider web, that needs something. And yeah, so I have not done anything to this machine yet. I really just wanted to show it off because of how rare it actually is. I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with Alex Askarov, but on his website, says that there are very few examples of this left. So I really just wanted to show it off because I haven't seen anyone else with a video on YouTube showing off their Raymond number one. So here she is. It's a very capable transverse shuttle machine. These machines were actually made in Guelph, which is where I live. So I thought that that was really cool that it resurfaced in Guelph, Ontario. So now I'll show you the underside of this thing. Yeah, you know, there you have your transverse shuttle that moves back and forth on a line. And this will rotate around. And look how clean this metal is. Uh, I'm really not gonna have to do anything all that crazy to get this working again, I don't think. All I need to do is finally find some transverse shuttle needles, but once I do that, all should be well. And she comes with the boat shuttle. Now this is a really interesting one. It has a flap on the back, and it's kind of like a lid, and it opens up to your bobbin there. So I'm going to have to figure out how to work this machine how to get it going. I worked on antiques, but I want to be really careful with this one because it feels like a real uh, important piece of history that I should be careful with. But here's my Raymond number one. Uh, I'll probably post some process videos and definitely a finished video of how this machine looks once I have completed restoring it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.